Hi everyone, my name is Daryl and I am so glad that you are at church today. Today we are going to be talking about Christmas and we're going to be answering this question. What does God think of me when I sin? The short answer is this. God doesn't need you to be perfect. He just wants you to follow Jesus. Right now we are going to watch a Bible story that shows us that no one in the Bible was perfect except for Jesus. Jesus was perfect and had no sin, but what about his family? The book of Matthew begins with a long list of names. These names are the names of the family members who lived before Jesus. Think of it like a list of your family members, your dad, your grandpa, your great grandpa, and so on. You would think that the family of Jesus would be full of amazing people who never messed up, but actually, that's not what we find in the Bible at all. The list starts with Abraham. Abraham was a man of great faith, and out of his family came the nation of Israel. But we see in scripture that he lied just like the rest of us. He told others that he was not married to his wife, Sarah. Time passed by and Abraham had a son named Isaac. And Isaac had two sons named Jacob and Esau. Jacob, the younger brother, wanted the family's inheritance, which belonged to the older brother, Esau. So he made a plan to steal it from his father, Isaac, who was old and blind. Who does that? Stealing from your old blind father is terrible. Judah, one of Joseph's 12 brothers, you know, the Joseph who interpreted dreams and saved Egypt from going hungry during a famine. Well, Judah and his brothers threw Joseph into a well, sold him into slavery, and then lied to their dad about it. The great King David, who slayed the giant Goliath and wrote beautiful songs to God, also had his fair share of mistakes. Towards the end of his life, he even killed one of his friends and took his wife. These men weren't perfect. They lied, stole, cheated, hated, and even murdered, but God still loved them and used them in his story to save the world. These great men of the Bible knew that they weren't perfect, but they all looked forward to a day where a perfect, sinless man would come and give his life for the sins of the world. It would be out of this messed up family that God would send his son, Jesus. Jesus came from heaven to earth and lived a perfect life. He gave that life on the cross to cover our sins and make us perfect in the sight of God. He rose from the dead and he's in heaven now preparing a place for us. Jesus lived a life without mistakes so you could be forgiven of yours. You might mess up, but don't give up. God can still use you. God doesn't need you to be perfect. He just wants you to follow him. So we don't have to be perfect to follow Jesus. Take a few minutes right now and talk to your small group about this. What do you think about yourself when you make a mistake?
Have you ever thought this question? What does God think about me when I sin? Oftentimes we feel really bad about ourselves. Sometimes an adult makes us feel worthless when we mess up. The problem is, is when we think that God thinks these things about us. Now it's true that God hates sin, but does that mean that God hates you when you sin? No way! God loves you, which is why he sent Jesus to save you. None of us are perfect. We all make mistakes. We say something terrible to a friend. We lie to our parents. We cheat on a test. We get angry and we don't love others. We watch something that we know we're not supposed to watch. We do things our own way instead of God's way. And life starts to look like an ugly sweater. We all have this problem called sin. Sin is a problem because it separates us from God. Remember, God is perfect and holy and in him there is no sin. Sin and God don't mix. That means because of your sin, you can't be with God. So God sent his son Jesus to live a perfect life without mistakes so that you could be forgiven of all of your mistakes. Jesus gave his life for us to cover our sins. Now before Jesus, people had to use the blood of animals to cover their sins. But Jesus died so that everyone who believes in him could be covered and forgiven by his blood. The Bible says that when you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, and when you say with your mouth that Jesus is my boss, my king, my Lord, then you will be forgiven of all of your sins that you've ever done in the past and that you will ever do in the future. God sees you as white as snow. He doesn't see the old ugly sins, but he sees you as perfect and holy, just like Jesus. Now we still sin even after we join God's family. We feel awful on the inside. We think to ourselves, God must be mad at me. He probably thinks I'm dumb. He could never use someone like me. Others take it a step further and say, you know what, maybe I'm not a part of God's family anymore. Well, that is just not true. The truth is God doesn't need you to be perfect. We saw in our story earlier that the people in the Bible weren't perfect. They had the same sin problem we do. In Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, it says this, God saved you by his grace when you believed, and you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done, so none of us can boast about it. We aren't in God's family because we are good, but because Jesus saved us. It's not anything that we did. When you join God's family, you don't have to be afraid that he's gonna kick you out when you sin. He's not going to do that to you. You might mess up, but don't give up. God can still use you. When you sin, ask God to help you change and to keep loving God and loving others. Remember, God doesn't need you to be perfect. He just wants you to follow Jesus.